one. So today I'm excited for another Halloween haul today. We're doing part two of our home goods Halloween haul. So if you missed out on part one, I'll link that in the description box for you so you can check it out and see what else I got from home goods. Basically all the stuff I'm going to mention today is from home goods. I think there's one thing from TJ Maxx online that I'll talk about, but otherwise all this stuff is from home goods. But if you've been out Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton, I always want to go good old Mr. Skeleton, but he's not here. Then you may have seen that a lot of the home goods in my area, they're attached to either a TJ Maxx or Marshalls. It's like one big store. So any of the things I mentioned today, you can find at home goods. But if you're really looking for something, I would also check TJ Maxx online and in store and Marshalls online and in store. Uh, and what's the other one? Sierra, I think online. I don't know if they have a store, like a brick and mortar store, uh, but they have online and they sell a lot of the same items. I'll have all the websites linked in the description box. Now I'm just jabbing my jaws and I've got a whole little Baja blast in here. So we're gonna be blasting our way through this haul. <laughs> you know we will. But yeah, we're gonna jump into this home goods Halloween haul before I jab my jaws till all eternity. Here we go. I'm gonna start with this. I don't know why I didn't show this in my first one because I did show this in my summerween bedroom decorating video. If you saw that, if you didn't, I'll link it in the description box for you. It already has hair all over it. I got the Spermy Ghost Runner. And I was so excited to snag this this year because, because I missed out on it last year. I didn't see this at one Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, not one place last year. I got this one off TJ Maxx online. Uh, so tjmaxx.com, I think. I was able to snag it when they put it on the website. Uh, but I know people are also finding it at Home Goods. So TJ Maxx, Home Goods, I'd also check your Marshalls, all those places. So it's just a runner with a bunch of these spermy ghost. I don't know whose idea it was to put a smiley face on some sperm and then convince all of us it's a ghost rug, but I also want to meet them because I feel like we would be best friends. All right, moving on to another decor piece. Let's, let's grab this. Got this Martha. Oh my gosh, is that a real spider web in there? Or is it just hot glue? So got this cloche, uh, this Martha Stewart goth. It's actually Martha Stewart home. Any of the dark slash Halloween-y Martha Stewart stuff, I call it Martha Stewart goth. She has some really good pieces in her darker Halloween lines. They're like all year round kind of dark decor pieces. And I feel like this was one of them. The glare is gonna be really intense. So we're gonna take this, this stuff off, whatever this is. And I hope the cloche doesn't come flying off because it's glass. And that was another thing I really loved about this. What is happening? Oh, I see, I see. No, I don't see. This is literally a whole puzzle right now. What is this? I mean, I understand the packaging's to keep the cloche on, but Lord, making us work for it, Martha Stewart. Okay, so here's the whole candle part. I'll show you this before I put the cloche on because the lights are just, glare is glaring, you know? The candles, the little LED candles in there, they're different heights and they've got this dripping wax look to them and it has some glitter, okay? Not super excited about the glitter. If you can see it, let me show you. Not super excited about the glitter. I feel like it's got a little bit of, um, I think it looks like a little pepper sprinkled over the top. I, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I feel like you can't really notice the glitter. It's not super noticeable once you have it set out, but it also has these little, I don't know if this was intentional or if you can even see it, but it has these little, it looks like little spider web, like strings in there, but I'm pretty sure it's hot glue. Let me touch it. It's definitely hot glue, but it ends up looking like actual real little spider webs or little cobwebs. Uh, the one thing I loved about this is the fact that the cloche part of it is actually glass. It's actually glass. So a lot of these cloche pieces, the Halloween cloche pieces, they have plastic over the top, which I feel like, yes, it's great when you don't wanna break something or if you're storing it or whatever, but for an all year round piece, which is what I was wanting this for, I love that it's glass, because I feel like it's just gonna stay looking nice and pretty. I feel like plastic can get yellow over time, or it just doesn't have the same look or feel to it. I'm definitely gonna be using this during Halloween and through the holiday season, so I'm really excited. What's next? What are we doing besides sweating? Let's talk about spooky dishware. Spooky dishware is normally always really good. It's always good at home goods, but whether or not you end up seeing all of it, that is the question. I feel like 
I'm always kind of slowly collecting a full set. So I'll get, you know, one dish one season and then I'll get the smaller dishes or the bowls the next season because I don't see it all in one. This year I was seeing all of these collections together, multiple dishes. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the spooky dish gods just blessed me this year. I don't know, graced me with their presence. Long story longer, I found these dishes. I found these black and white spooky bowls. Found the bat bowl. And this is the medium size. Let me grab the small size just so you can see for comparison. Um, it's a workout trying to maneuver around all these Halloween decorations. Okay, so here's the medium size bat bowl. It's got bats all around the sides and on the inside of the bowl. And here's the small bowl. So just so you can see for size comparison, the small bowl isn't even really small. It's not that small. It's a pretty good size bowl as it is. But it's the smallest bowl I saw there at Home Goods. First of all, look how little the little bats are in this one. They're so itty bitty on the inside. I love this. I love that they're scaled differently. Anyways, this was the bat. What am I doing here? There's hair everywhere is what's happening. They also had the witch flying on a broom bowl. So it has witches all around flying on brooms on the outside and on the inside of the bowl. I love these spooky bowls. They're so good. I love that they're black and white. I love that they have a good old pattern. Uh, so I got the small and the medium size and this one. And I got the, the ghosty bowl. All the little ghosties on the inside and the outside of the bowl. And I also got the medium size bowl that has the larger ghosties on the outside of the bowl and then the smaller ghosties on the inside. I just was so excited for the black and white design and all the spooky things. I'm so excited. I was so excited. <laughs> all right, next up I got we're sweating. When is it gonna be fall, y'all? I'm ready. I'm tired of sweating. We're gonna do the other dishes or do you wanna do something else? Let's break it up a little bit so you don't have to see all dishes. Let's talk about this because this is so cute. I have no idea where I'm putting this, but it was so cute, I couldn't pass it up. So I got this guy, this witchy toad on a jack-o-lantern. This little toad with this witch hat on and he's got this little, wait, is this? Is this supposed to be like frog prince, but with the witchy hat? I don't know if they're going for a frog prince vibe. I don't know what they're going for, but I'm not mad at whatever this is, like a Halloween frog prince kind of situation. And the jack-o'-lantern lights up, which again, we don't have any batteries, so I'll show it lit up. It's a whole fairy tale meets Halloween situation, and I love it. This is so cute. I couldn't resist it. We'll find a theme for this guy, and we're gonna make it happen. All right, next up, this is super random. I got a drying mat. <laughs> it's not just any drying mat though. It's a Joanna Parker drying mat. And they have the cute Joanna Parker designs all over them. It's like little swirly things with little ghosties and jack-o'-lanterns and little moons and owls and bats and black cats. It's so, and spiders and spider webs. It's just so cute. I love this whole design. I love the bright orange. I feel like it's really obnoxious and I love that about it. I feel like once again, I have my two moods. It's in your, I'm gonna try to open this. Do I have scissors in here? I have my in your face, Halloween, everything jack-o'-lantern. I love the orange and black and white vibe. I love the in your face Halloween. Or I like gothic, black and white and silver. Those are my two Halloween moods. I like a little in your face Halloween and that's what I feel like this is. Oh my gosh. How many of these freaking plastic things are in this? We're not messing with it today. Let's look at these mats. This one, it's a larger drying mat. This almost looks like a rug. I'm not gonna lie, it's that kind of size. Uh, but it's a larger drying mat. Oh my gosh, this pattern is so cute. And then you have the smaller one. Just a little smaller. I'm just so excited I found this print because I'm obsessed. Next up, let's talk about more breakable things. Let's talk about spooky mugs that we got from Home Goods this year. Every single year at Home Goods, I don't know about you, but I love their spooky mugs. They're so good. I found this one. I love the aesthetic of this one. There's something about it I just love. It is this big old mug, perfect for all of the tea, coffee, slash soups. It's just my favorite perfect multi-purpose type of mug. And it has little jack-o'-lanterns and skulls and these little whimsical things and stars. And this was $4.99 from Home Goods. All right, next up I saw this one, had to snag it. I love a good jack-o'-lantern mug, you know I do. Look at that face. Like you're trying to be evil, but you're also really cute, you know what I mean? And then the inside of the lip, 
has a spider. I love that little added detail. It's just a little extra spooky something. Next, I got this one. I just found this one. There's a whole story behind it. And I hope you don't mind if I tell it. <laughs> I love the graphic situation on this mug. I saw it and instantly wanted it, but I almost didn't get it. It, it, it's a whole dramatic, well, it's not that dramatic. In my mind, it was dramatic, but I'm gonna show you the mug first. So it's this vintage looking mug. It's a ghost with a jack-o'-lantern head on and this pumpkin patch slash graveyard slash prairie. I don't know what this is, but I guarantee you there's a corn maze in there and I wanna live in there with, I don't care if it's like a spooky ghost pumpkin head man, I would live in this area, um, um, I basically do. I live in Kansas, that's <laughs> pretty much what it is. Okay, but I love the vintage vibe of this. I love the size of the mug. I don't know, there's something about this mug. It's got that kind of vintage, eerie kind of feel to it. So the story behind the mug, I almost didn't get it. Um, I saw it, it was sitting on the little, you know, the little ceramic table. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna come back to it because I wanna make sure I didn't have a cart. That's my fault entirely. So I saw it and no one else was around. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get visuals of some of the other stuff around, any of the other new stuff, and I'll come back around and grab it. And I know there are people on the other side of this screen right now watching this. I know you're out there and you're saying, ghoul, that is home good slash TJ Maxx slash Marshalls 101. You do not walk by it. If you want it, you have to get it right that second. It is that serious. And I know this, I know it's that serious. And I still somehow never learn, I never learn. So I was like, I'm gonna come back around and grab it after I get all the visuals of everything because I don't have a cart. I got visuals and then I got distracted by a bunch of plates and then I came back and it wasn't there, it was gone. And I saw the sweetest older lady holding it in her hands. She was carrying it around and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed out on this mug. But also she deserves it. She knows the, the rules. We all know the rules of home goods. And I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna be that person. I'm just gonna leave it. It's fine. She's gonna give it a good home. It'll be okay, right? It's not meant to be. But then it was meant to be because she put it down and picked up a different mug and walked off. Like walked away and left this mug there. Left it sitting there. And then I went over. It's like, this is spooky fate. This is meant to be. So I got this mug and I'm all excited about it. But you know, if I didn't get it, it's it's part of it's part of the deal. It's part of the hunt. Who are we kidding? I got this mug. I'm all excited. This one was how much was this? 4.99. Steal of a deal. All right, 500 years later. What are we talking about? Um all right, so let's talk about some Ray Dunn. And I know a lot of you are just so done with Ray Dunn. But I was wanting some spooky Tupperware and I saw this stuff at Home Goods. So so excited to find these ceramic ones and they're spooky for an all year round spooky kitchen. You know I had to. They're kind of a little storage container and then it has a plastic top with a little uh like you can pop the top and it will steam. This one says boo on the front. Has these cute little ghosties all around the little Tupperware. It is so, again, cute. Everything is cute. I don't know why, but it is. And then I got this one. Actually, I got two of these. Uh, this big old bowl. Anyways, hopefully you can see this even though there's a really bad glare, but it has little jack-o'-lanterns all the way around the bowl. It says treats on the front. And then I also got the ghost version of the same bowl, but instead of jack-o'-lanterns, this one has little ghosts all the way around the bowl. I also had to get the, oh, oh sorry, I just smacked my faux plant, my apologies. Um, had to get the in your face Halloween one. You know I did. And the little jack-o'-lantern faces are so cute. Look at those faces. I just love that. And then it says spooky on the front. We found these orange ones. And this one once again says boo on the front and then it has little ghosties all around it. So cute. The little jack-o'-lanterns and the ghosties are so cute. Uh, then I also got this one. It says treats on the front and then has once again, the little ghosties all around. So we stocked up on these Ray Dunn Tupperware things. So while we're talking about Ray Dunn, might as well mention these. I got these little casserole. Well, these are more like brownie pan kind of things. You know what I mean? Got this one, this orange Halloween in your face one. This one says Hocus Pocus 
inside of it. And then I got the this one which says feeling spooky on it. <laughs> you know I had to get this one. This is once again an all year round spooky kitchen purchase. Next up I got, oh god. I showed this rug at the beginning of the season. This was my very first Halloween purchase of the season. It is this Ouija board rug and I loved the color scheme of this one. A lot of the Ouija board rugs are brown or like you know look like the actual board where this one has this kind of dark grayish black kind of look to it with the white text a little bit of a gold color to it i feel like it's an all year round decor piece for my front door area they also have these little tassels at the corner that add a little just shimmy shimmy situation so i got the ouija board rug next up you know I had to get a spooky puzzle this year. It has a jack-o'-lantern, spider webs, full moon. What else? A branchy tree. Part of me wants to do a little bit of the puzzle every day throughout October. Like maybe we'll do it as part of Vlogoween and we can follow the progress. Next up I got these spooky napkins. There's a whole thing of them with a hair on it per usual. But the glare is glaring. So here we go. Once again a Halloween in your face. Had to get the in your face Halloween napkin. Has all the spooky things on it. Jack-o'-lanterns, ghosties, owls, bats, black cats, cauldron, a planchette. Witch hat, oh my gosh, the whole crew is here. How much were these? Uh, $3.99 for these. Love these, super cute. Also got this dish towel. We're just sweating, we're stuck on our suspenders. We're struggling, we're struggling over here. Cue moaning Myrtle. <laughs> got some towels, we got these. I don't know, am I using these in the bathroom or the kitchen? I'm not sure yet, but I love the design of this. Orange with spider webs, little spiders dangling and crawling in the webs. All right, next, what's next? We're blasting right through this. <laughs> next up, I got this cold cup. Once again, this is an all year round thing for me. Got this spider web cold cup. It's pretty self-explanatory. Has little spider webs and spiders all over it. I feel like this is the perfect everyday kind of dark aesthetic piece. It also comes with a stainless steel straw with the little silicone top part to it. It says it keeps hot beverages for up to six hours, cold beverages for 12 hours. So you can have an ice cold Baja Blast, y'all, for 12 hours in this thing, which we might put to the test. Who knows? Got this Joanna Parker. I don't even, is this, what do they call it? Anti-fatigue kitchen mat. That is way more sophisticated than what I was going to call it. I was going to call it a squishy mat, <laughs> but it's an anti-fatigue kitchen mat $16.99 for this guy it is this huge kitchen mat and it's got that squishy feel to it you know so it feels really good when you stand on it and we're interfering with the plants now anyways it's the same print as the uh drying mats that we got so we got matching kitchen mats to our drying mats all the joanna parker mats is what we're dealing with this year. I cannot wait to put this in my kitchen. I'm so excited. So we got some more dishes. I mentioned earlier that dishes this year were so good. These dishes were number one on my wish list this year. I desperately wanted these, especially for my dining room theme this year. Ended up finding them, so I'm so excited. Okay, you already know what they are. You know I'm so excited about these. Uh, I mentioned these over on the Facebook group. These witchy plates and bowls and the whole witchy set. If you've seen these, then you know they're pretty popular. I was so excited to be able to snag these because I love collecting Halloween dishes. So there are these witchy dishes. They have a couple of different designs. They have this one that is this spooky house. And you can see in the window, there's a witch in there and some ghosties and a little jack-o'-lantern out front. Found these in the bowls, never found these in the plates but I found this bowl and I found this big old bowl. The spooky house on front too, uh, but I found the spooky house bowl. Then I found this guy, Wait, hold on. the witch. I love the witches in this line. There's something about this whole line I love. So I found the smaller little salad plate that has a witch in front of her mantle with her cauldron and all the spooky things. And then the border has little jack-o'-lanterns. It's so, ugh. I love the darker aesthetic. It's got that eerie feel, almost like a folky feel to it. I love it. I feel like I'm in Salem, you know? It's got the whole feel to it. Okay, I also found the dinner plate with the witch in front of her cauldron. 
little design. By the way, the dinner plate was $5.99. The bowls were $4.99. The salad plate was, how much were you? $4.99, which I feel like these are really good deals for these plates. They are so cool looking. They look even cooler when they're stacked, like when the whole setting is in place. So then I thought I was done. I hadn't seen any for weeks, any of these plates. And I saw these just the other day. So if you feel like you missed out on these, keep checking your home goods because I just saw this one like two or three days ago. So they're coming out now. I've seen them on the Facebook group over the last couple days. So they're still coming out with stuff. So you may still have a chance to get these. So they had these there. I thought I was excited about one witch, but this one, this whole design has three witches. A branchy tree, a ghosty, a full moon, bats, the whole crew. And the brand is Royal Stafford, by the way. I love this brand. I love their mugs. I love their plates. I just love everything about it. This was $5.99, but it goes with my whole aesthetic all year round in my home. Exactly what I'm looking for. So I was so excited to find these. And I can't wait to set up my spooky dining room this year. And next thing I got from Home Goods, I got this lamp. Once again, the glare is not going to allow us to see what's happening with this. It just looks like a big old light bulb on a stand. And that's pretty much what it is. But inside of the light bulb, I'll light it up so you can see what it actually looks like. But on the inside, there's a little skull neon looking guy. And he lights up and you can see him in there. Oh my gosh, this is a workout. Okay, what's next? What's next? I'm going to get by over here. Okay. Next up, I got this, this big old broom tiered tray combo. It's this wooden tray, tiered tray thing with this black metal broom that goes all the way through it. And then the broom is the stand. There's something about this that stood out to me. It's really unique. And I'd love to have this as part of my spooky kitchen uh, to put little, I mean, I can decorate on it, like put little decor on it, or I can put little snacks on it for the spooky kitchen. We can put some cupcakes on it or whatever. But I was so excited about this because it's kind of a unique piece. I've never seen anything like it. Thought it'd be perfect for the spooky kitchen. So we'll probably be making some sort of cupcakes or something to put on this. Next up, I got this spooky pillow. Has a bunch of skeletons dancing on it. Kind of goes with the, if you got that spooky season pillow this year, kind of goes with that color scheme. Just love a good spooky pattern. Love the Mr. Skeletons dancing all over it. And in my mind, it's saying spooky, scary skeleton. You know what I mean? The one that wouldn't shut up at Lowe's. That's what's going on in my brain. All right, next up. Y'all, I got this. <laughs> this is the year of the random Halloween kitchen items that I probably didn't need, but I also absolutely need. I got this spooky butter tray. <laughs> Has this jack-o'-lantern on the front that matches the spoon rest that I mentioned in part one. It says trick or treat on the front, and then you take this off and the butter is in there and it covers your butter is what it does. Next up, I got more Halloween Ray done. Got some of the spooky canisters this year. These were so cute. I could not contain myself. Um, they had this one that has the ghosty topper and it says spooky on it. And then you just take off the ghosty topper. And then I got this one, this haunted house one. I love this one. This might be my favorite. Okay, we talked about this last year. It's a little bit phallic. <laughs> We're not gonna lie, are we? It was one of, what did we call it? The Wieners of Halloween decor? Is that what we called it? Halloweeners of Halloween? <laughs> uh, it's not the most impressive house I've ever seen, but it's, I am talking about a house, okay, people? <laughs> but it's a spooky house on top. I thought maybe, I don't know, I thought I could turn it around because I don't know if I'm super excited about the haunted house thing on it. Like, I don't know if I like that it says haunted house. That's just like, I don't get it. But the other side is plain. So I can just turn it around and still have the little spooky house and that, and now I can't unsee what we were just talking about. So I need to put this down. Anyways, the last one I got is this jack-o'-lantern canister. It says trick or treat on it. It has this cute little jack-o'-lantern on top. I think that's it. I'm ready for a nap. We are officially done with all of our home goods slash TJ Maxx slash Marshalls things. We'll probably get more. You know, we'll be back out on the hunt. I thought they'd be slowing down and putting out Christmas, but I just found those spooky dishes the other day and this mug, this one, this guy. 
I mean, I was thinking they were done and I had seen everything there was to see and I didn't. Anyways, that is it for this Home Goods Halloween haul. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to ya. Uh, also, there'll be more Halloween hauls here coming up and we're gonna be decorating and all the things. So I'm so excited and we're still hunting. We still have some places to see. So anyways, let me know uh, if you saw anything in this haul that you liked or anything that you got as well or anything else we talked about. If you wanna chit chat about it in the comments. Uh, and yeah, hope you're having an amazing Halloween season so far. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.